he is phew, he's struggling bro wouldn't have guessed huh i know never <laughs> what you mean they look like the same is it gay to watch this i, I kind of feel like it's gay but it's not really gay though it's definitely like pause but let's just watch they glow ups man Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Srishti. I'm currently a junior at UCLA, majoring in human bio and society. Physically, Damn, I think difficult. I definitely learned what suits me best as far as like makeup and hair and how to dress. But emotionally, as I came into myself, I kind of learned that I am my own person and mm. I need to have like my own identity. Yeah. I feel like a little nervous, but good. So excited. Damn. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> no, it's a good, it's a good foundation. I feel like they can really work up with these photos. Oh, yeah, no, shit. Wrong. Okay. I really like all of them. Most of them have glasses, so I feel like they're giving very studious vibes. Yo, that dude okay, is first old. person. He seems really happy, and I kind of digging the haircut <laughs> yes and no can you tell me what you're doing no this no no it's the rock and rapids i believe okay. um i was a vacation no, with bad. my family so okay, nice. yeah. person two you seem so smart and like put together so i did like this family photo shoot okay. and then some yeah, of my he's not bad. were just myself <laughs> and that was when i was in like eighth grade mm. so i was like 14 so okay. yeah tragic love it okay number three Oh, wow. Okay, I feel like this is like middle school era because I see the locker This is not bad eyes. either. Picture, I'm actually uh, my freshman year of high school. So that okay. was my first day. And in the picture, I have my friend in there. And, you know, I was looking pretty rough. No, 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 no. 10 out of 10. Great first day look. Okay, number four. He's not really smart. No, nah, he is. <sighs> He's struggling, bro. Like I don't like know what to say. Duty model look that we're going for, but I like it. So this was actually in high school. Funny story about this picture though is I don't know if it was edited or not, because I could have sworn <laughs> I saw him make my forehead a little bit bigger. Okay, we'll but, give you that one. But, we'll but that, that might don't just worry. be cope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number five. Okay, very serious. I feel like it's a very off guard picture, but I like it. So this was kind of like a after class uh, thing with my classmates. Okay. We went to get some pizza and that mm -hmm. was like a, again, like you said, avant garde picture yeah. or off guard picture. I was not prepared for that at all and not my brightest moment either. <laughs> no, I but... like it off guard. We like it. I really <laughs> well, like the last one. The beach. He really could go like up from that. This is very spontaneous and playful. I was having the best time. So uh, <laughs> me and my mom, my sister went on a vacation here to California. And we yeah, he ain't that bad. had this amazing experience where we had like a sand castle builder come on teach us how to make an awesome sand castle okay did you win did you like do really oh well? i mean Nailed my sand it. castle was the best that's why i'm so happy you see it yeah i was living life sand castle professionals okay <laughs> i don't know anything about them they all seem so great okay i think i'm gonna eliminate person one because i'm yep. not the biggest fan of roller coasters so just going off of that but you seem great so i'm excited to see you <laughs> you do not seem great she kept it hello hi nice to meet you nice to meet you as well okay. cassie cassie nice to nice meet you cassie yeah. i really like your jacket it was thank so you i found maroon is a good suiting color for me yeah it does thank Matches you the complexion you have a good day Good luck, boys! <laughs> nah, that Here. voice track was so devious. Contestant number two. What is one attribute that you like about yourself that's not physical? I would say I'm funny. Funny, like, okay, yeah. humor. Tell me a joke, go. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any jokes on Why do people do that? Stuff okay. That is funny, my tone. But mm. everyone says I'm funny, that, like my close friends, my family. Okay, I'll give you a pass, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number two. So I know this is like freshman year of high school, you said. What is one piece of advice you would like give yourself in this moment in time? <sighs> one piece of advice I'd probably give myself is just don't stress it. I know during freshman year, I was really like insecure because yeah, I was looking pretty rough, I can't lie. Um, but yeah, just keep going through the phases, let life do its mm. thing and just enjoy freshman year. Enjoy it, yeah. Okay. Contestant number three, um, I know you're outdoors here, so would you say you're more like spontaneous and like naturey, or do you think you're the type of person who likes to stay in? I think I'm more of a person who likes to stay in. Okay. Um, in terms of outdoors we can see that. stuff, the most I would do would be like go on a hike or something. Okay. So what is the point of going on a hike? I never got that. One piece of advice you would give yourself. In you just walk in. in, in a, well, just well. live life for yourself. Don't let people tell you things how you perceive them, this too shall pass and the world is not perfect. So just enjoy yourself, take it slow, but don't be afraid if things don't go your way. 
I really like the take it slow part. I feel like I tell myself that every single day. Uh, number five, or number six. I know you're at the beach right here, but what is your favorite place or like favorite thing to do in your free time? Oh, favorite thing to do. Um, I'm a homebody to be honest. I like staying in. I like just relaxing, making food. I've taken cooking classes making for four years. Making food, oh so like shit. Cooking. cooking classes. Okay, what's your go-to meal? Oh, my best meal I can make, I can make like a mean spaghetti carbonara. Ooh, so okay. I have high expectations for you now in your you cooking should. skills. You should, you should. What advice would you give your younger self? Okay, so all these guys stole all the good ones, but uh, <laughs> it's fine, we're chilling. Um, at that time in my life, I should've just enjoyed time with my family more, because now I've moved away, I'm 6,000 miles away from home. Uh, so 6, if I could go back, I would just enjoy the company of my sister, my mom a little more and just because now I took it for granted having them around. Okay. Okay, I have a follow-up question. How often do you call your mom? Um, I would say I call her about like once a month. Once a oh, month. Okay. <laughs> okay. Time difference. Time difference is the reason. Oh yeah, no no no. Nine sure. hours. No, nine no, hours. I completely believe you, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> once a month, bro. If I was a shorty, that's kind of a red flag. So the first person I'm eliminating is contestant number four. And it's because yeah, he doesn't yeah, like yo. to go hiking, but I'm a huge outdoor person because of that reason. I think that's why he's gonna be eliminated. <laughs> Hi, it's so nice to, nice meet, to meet you. you. Oh my I'm god, boy. your fit is so good. Thank you, I appreciate it. I like your fit too, yeah. Thank you, we're kind of like similar. <laughs> nice nice, nice to meet you, what? thank you. Okay. Um, the second person I'm gonna eliminate is probably contestant number six. Even though I love talking to you, I am just not a homebody. Wait, what? I'm very like extroverted and I love doing things outside and I know you're kind of like I thought they liked each other. What? Hi, nice oh, to meet you. Oh, he can suit it up. Oh, shit. Max? Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. I love talking to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love talking to you, too. <laughs> Thank you. I, I got to call my mom some more. Oh, yeah, yeah. I no, it was the one time. month thing, definitely. It wasn't the whole for me, thing. Huh? Yeah. Hey, good luck. Thank you. Oh, he got a deep voice. Oh, yeah, she's so looking at him. She really missed him like already. Really, Damn. Yeah, it's a win-win situation for me. <laughs> um. So, contestant number two. What is the biggest thing that you look for in a relationship or a partner? Their personality, because I'm mm. very like satire. My humor is like very satire, very like, I make a lot of jokes, so they have to have the same kind of energy as me. Okay, like being witty. Yeah, yeah, being yeah, witty. Yeah, being able to handle the heat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. What do you love most about like hiking and like going outside? To give you a little bit of context, for a really long time I was like, no, I hate being outdoors. However, this summer I was in Hawaii and there was this one Hawaii. really, really, really hard hike. And all of my friends bailed. And they were like, oh, actually, I think I'm gonna sleep in. So I did the hike by myself, but I think that's like one of the moments I felt most proud of myself because I realized it's like a mental game, right? Like you uh. are in constant battle with yourself. Like, hey, should I just go back? Should I quit right now? Should I keep going? Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that I really admire about it. And now it's like learning a bit more about myself every single time I go on a hike. Mm -hmm. Your friends are so fake for that. I know, Canceling. should I drop I them? Mean, oh. I, that's what I would do. <laughs> Contestant number three. Why did your last relationship end? Damn. Did I hit a nerve? <laughs> uh, my last relationship ended because uh, she cheated on me. So. Oh, Damn. no. That's this, tough. This globe had a, something to do with oh, that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Everything yo, happens for a reason. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> What's one red flag about you? About me? Okay, oh, I'm gonna expose myself right now. I'm super duper, like, hyper independent because I'm super, like, career oriented. And I think because of that, oftentimes in a relationship, if the guy starts getting a little bit too clingy, I will automatically shut down and, like, block them off. Yeah. Yo. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> what? Contestant number five. That's what is weird. one time you've been deeply hurt and how did you learn from that lesson? Oof. Uh, most likely my. Uh, previous relationship because yep. it was almost uncalled for uh, but I did learn that you can't let one person who is in your life for such a long time really drag you down whether they're in it or not mm -hmm. so I kind of started going towards a creative outlet and I, now I make music I do videography I do basically a little bit of everything oh. to expand my horizon a little you bit. Changed how up. important is family to you I, I, I kid you not, I FaceTime my parents like five times a day, but like God. for two minutes, like I'll be like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So just like giving them updates and like making sure like they know where I'm at. Mm. Yeah. That's good. One more question. What are your red flags in relationships? All of you. Okay. Well, mine, I mean, it's obviously like <coughs> cheating. Uh, and then the of second course. one, I think it's just like how they act towards their own family. That's what they're probably going to do mm. to you. Okay. 
a red flag would probably be respect. So like if they don't respect their parents or maybe their friends, they're a little bit rude. You know, that's gonna bleed into a little bit of everything in their life. And uh, you know, I don't really want to be a product of that. For me personally, it's emotional immaturity. Uh, here he comes with some emotional immaturity. Um, we don't care if you got your emotions in check. Like, as long as you happy, be happy. If you not, be not. You know, what? If we're all adults right now, so it would be really nice to be with a person who has their stuff in check, you know, because we're all busy. We have school, we have work. It would be nice to, you know, be able to balance all that out with a healthy relationship. Okay, um, the first person I'm gonna eliminate is contestant number three. <laughs> and I think oh. it's because um, after I gave my red flag, I realized like you did have the best response. Yeah, wow. I mean, of course, because <laughs> your red flag was trash. Super compatible, so that's why. He had the best go out though, probably, because he got cheated on. Hi. Hey. Oh my god, it's so nice to, nice meet, to meet you. What's your name? Victor. Victor, nice to meet you, Did Victor. Like my no, such a glow up. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never like put two and two together. Yeah. yeah, it was so nice talking to you. You too, you have a lot of good people behind. Thank you, okay. Damn. I feel like they voice okay. came more deep um, whenever they. Okay, the person I'm gonna eliminate is contestant number five. Okay. Um, I really like talking to you, especially about like being super close to your family, but for me, um, I think my family life just operates very differently. That's kept like crazy. She just wanted to get him out. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? It's so nice to nice meet. To see you I too. really like your outfit. Thank you. Yeah. I like like the. Wouldn't have guessed, huh? I know. Never. <laughs> what I'm you sure. mean? They look like the you. same. Thank you so much. Of course, Except for like the hair, Likewise. maybe, and the eyes. I'm feeling a little nervous. More excited though. Contestant <laughs> okay. number two, we're gonna have you walk around. Oh shit, Jordan. It's so hey, nice, it's so nice, nice to, to meet you. Meet you. So pretty. Oh, oh. Does that look like me? No. What? Is what? That like a different person. Yeah, a different person, completely. <laughs> How is oh, that? Oh, yeah, sorry, Yo. my name's Aiden. Aiden, nice to meet you. Aiden, okay, yeah. perfect. Well, I actually love hiking and running outside, so. When Guys, you brought, I nailed it. <laughs> when you brought that up, I was like, oh, I'm gonna ask you about hiking. Because I always hike every weekend with my friends. No way, where do you I go? Mean, I go to San Diego, so I love, I love hiking. So does my mom. Shout out, mom. <laughs> no, it looks completely different. I feel like you really like came into yourself. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like the outfit really just speaks volume. Like, oh, I'm so confident. I know my style. Oh. I like have my stuff together. Um, my hair, like, I just grew it out over COVID. The pandemic happened just for you. Oh. Yeah, just so the glow. <laughs> I really like him. I feel like as far as personality goes, we're kind of like the same person from like humor and things that we like to do. So I'm really excited to get to know him more. I feel like I'm still this same person inside, but just the appearance is different. To me, a glow up is just like being more confident. Yeah. I mean, he more oh. sassy. Oh my God. Oh, wait. No. No, no, no Completely no, no, no. different person. Yeah, it looks like you like Yo. did a skin care routine. Oh like, yeah, over no, no, really? no. Yeah, like, yeah your skin looks flawless. Thank yeah. you. My skin was nah, like Nah, she had the best glow of my face. I didn't wear sunscreen at all. I think freshman year and sophomore year, I really struggled with acne. And I think that was like definitely a big insecurity. In yeah, that, mine too. Right? <laughs> yeah. Do you get like more cautious now if you ever have a pimple? Yeah, like it's kind of like PTSD. Right? Where you're like, oh my God, okay, I gotta get it. Yeah, exactly.